Hi everybody, Robert here again with more Rivet Training and I had another question. I wanted to know how would you run Unistrut, you know, the supports. And I did this and I never did the supports. So we're just gonna put some Unistrut in here. I got a couple of pieces, a couple of families, and that's what it's really all about. It's all in the families. So I'm gonna my floor level here. So what I got here, I'm gonna just come out here in my 3D view uh, first and I got a bracket over here and I should have something attached to this uh, modify paste got a trapeze here I think in here uh oh yeah there it is <laughs> so he's going to just drop in there I don't care he can go anywhere this way because he's going to level elevation one. That's just where he lives on one. So then what we need to do here is get this elevation that is 10-2. So I'm gonna push this guy maybe about 10. Actually the best way to do this is in a section view. Uh, so let's go back to my power and let's see. Oh, there it is over there. So I'm gonna just cut. So what you can do, and and you know you gotta do this a lot here with with, with cable tray. You gotta kind of keep an eye on what's going on, where things are. Uh, and, and a lot of times I just carry one with me. I should just carry that one. Just want to show you this. Uh, so double click here, just to get make sure we get the levels right. Okay, make this a fine view. So there's our cable tray. And where's our hanger? Probably on the bottom because it's at level zero. I mean, that, that's a good thing. So now this elevation is 10 2. I don't know to what point, but let's just push this guy up to 10 2 just for the hell of it. It's really about the families. Gotta have good families. Okay, drop this down. Uh, let's see, that would be 9, 10, I think. Uh, drop that down six inches, I think. Nope, nine, nine. There we go. Well, maybe even a little lower, nine, eight. Yep, that's what I wanted, nine, eight. Or whatever this doesn't kind of matter or you can just align this to the tray even no I don't think you can do that but anyway this is let's get a good number here let's make this uh, nine eight but you get the idea I want to quibble with that so then I'm gonna go back into my power plant so now we see okay there's our tray there's our hanger and so just go and Rock and roll. <laughs> Copy. Uh, they maybe had these 10 feet spans, maybe. So it's just uh, pop in 10 there. Uh, this one I already had there. Uh, so that's all to it, really. Uh, let me see. Copy this one. Okay, then you might. Let's see another 10. And then a lot of these really, that's 10 is really kind of short span. Maybe you can get up to as much as 20 feet. I've seen these things. So you just go copy, bam, 20. You get the idea here, so let's see, 20. Jeez. Oh, there's nothing out there. Just don't wonder. And then you can just go and move these guys around. I'll just move this one here. So it's fairly simple, but you gotta have a good family. This is a pretty good ones I got. I've had a lot of families. 
And then let's look at this in our 3D view. So there's our unit strut coming into play. Now the thing here is uh, the support. So and then in the real world, you would have these hanging off of this off of the joist, but it looks like they're above. But if you go in and I want to twist this guy around just a little bit, you can see. Right, we un we we we're supporting off these joists, uh, but. You would design something um, that would, you know, that would work there. But that's basically all to it. So, uh, and then here uh, along the wall, you can take this guy here. I think this thing might uh, stretch. I hope. Uh, move this guy here. He's a face base, so he'll stick to the wall. But anyway, that was an easy one. I'm sorry I didn't understand the question at first because I, I thought, oh, okay. I thought you meant a not. And you can do all of that stuff here. So let me just go pop a few more. And now here, if you get in, let's just bring some over to this side. I'm going to show you what happens over here when you get a situation when you change elevations. So I'm going to go back to the power plan here. Just copy this guy over here. Now they also have prefabrication parts. I may do a video on that one, but uh, this is the very basic way of doing this. So I'm gonna place it right here. So you can just like align it. The, the, uh, you can just sort of move this into this point here. That's sort of where the family aligns. And then here, say, again, let's take our section over here to see what's happening here. Okay, now that's a light fixture. There's a cable tray. So we, we're fitting in good there. But I want to go here now and look at another view. rotate this guy I mean the secret to this is the views uh, even with uh, well electrical well, it, 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 even a lot with plumbing you want to be able to see a lot uh oh want to undo that now I want to move this back here probably should just cut another one see what's happening this way okay we're changing elevations now so what I can do here I can just copy this guy now and then I hope this family is uh, move that up to okay let's say let's just move it up about a foot Let's move it up to 10.8. Probably, should, there you go. So that's what happens there. So you can take this family and you can go and change the elevations and everything. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so that's what happens there. And then you just take this guy on around. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go to that uh, power plan view and just go... I know this is tedious, it takes a lot of time, but uh, this is the most basic way to do this. But again, it's all in the family. So, hey, uh, sir, I don't, I think, I don't, I didn't get your name, but sorry I didn't understand the question, but this is how you run cable tray through, run, run Unistrut through cable tray. Here you gotta have something kind of special on the crosses. You might, uh, like here, I know on my job we do this. I do cable. I do cable trays, and um, yeah, we'll go put there. So you gotta have something like that on the crosses, and then on the T, and then they may have you might have a double support or something. But um, that's the most basic way to do to place your cable tray. So there's that area where we uh, change levels, and we did our supports. Uh, 
uh, yeah, I didn't. I never did this one. I, I thought, oh, and I just came back to do it. So that was a good question, and it was uh, easy. Thanks, and I thank you for watching my videos. Appreciate it. Uh, any other people watching? I try to help people out with questions and whatever basic rivet. I leave the hard stuff for the big guys. But anyway, guys, uh, let's see how we're going here. But this is basically how you do it. Nope, that's something else. That's another project. But that's it. That's how you run your supports through a um, Unistrut through cable tray. And again, uh, like I said, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I can uh, help you out if I know it. If I don't, I'll find out. I'll try to find out. But everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, talk to you soon. Everybody be safe. Bye. And thank you for the question, sir.